Hi, Mark Nugent here. I want to talk a little bit today about uh, testing the diagnostics in your car. Um, when a trouble light comes on or your engine light comes on the dash, you don't know what to do, but most people do is, is take it to somebody, a licensed auto mechanic or a dealership dealership so to speak and um, get done there and usually they uh, if you're not careful they can scam you pretty bad too but um, I want to show you an OBD2 tester that you I picked mine up at Walmart for under a hundred dollars it works really well they work on 96 and newer vehicles cars and trucks that are sold in the US and Canada as well and that so Let's give you a little rundown about what the OBD2, so the onboard diagnostic, and uh, how simple it is to operate and how you can save money by buying one. I've saved probably 20 times over by now for the price of it. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the OBD2 itself, and it does a diagnostic when you connect it to a data link connector which is usually located um, under the dash or by the kick panel underneath your vehicle and this would be the side it's a 16 pin connector hookup that would um, connect in there just like plugging into a receptacle sort of and that type of thing and there's a few functions on here it's explained in this manual that comes along with it the OBD2 owner's manual the easiest best way to troubleshoot 1996 newer OBD2 vehicles and that and this is what is what save you some money this this is not rocket science either using something like that a lot of people are intimidated or afraid or even to get their hands a little dirty hardly have to get your hands dirty here and what this will tell you is for example what's really wrong with your vehicle and it's an easy way to do it and uh, it'll get you going in the path where you'll, you'll start to use this thing every time your engine light comes on and you will know what is wrong with it because for example just give me a minute here there, they have codes this there is if you have a check engine light on and it brings up a code on the OBD2 you can check it out in here you know oh, I'm on the French side or is that Italian Where is that? I just wanna give you a little example here you know, this one's in French still in French hold on Okay, for example, if it came up with yeah, or if you came up with a PO217 code, that would be engine overtemp condition. And that could be something that would trigger your light to come on. Or uh, things like a P229 would be throttle position sensor switch and circuit. You know, another one is for fuel pump or your turbo booster, <laughs> even so to speak or injectors and all kinds of electronic uh, items that can go on the blank. So when connecting this thing, mine is just right up under the dash here. I don't know if you can see it too well. No, I think I got it the right way. Oh, upside down, okay. And it'll say read. And then you immediately turn your ignition all the way on except to start okay and this will begin so one of the codes I came up with was a 505 an idle control system malfunction now I know there was a glitch or something wrong with that once again this is a r really easy tool to use that anybody can practically learn to use my daughters even, I even taught her how to use it just takes a little initiative and you know out there and getting one if you want one you know and and learning you know a little more about your vehicle and how it works and you know diagnosing a PCM it's not hard it's something that a lot of people should learn to do well